So today's video is a really cool video. I'm really excited to do this and this is a review and demo of the Carly Bible and BH Cosmetics palette. So I know that this isn't a new palette in any way. It's actually been out for probably like what like a year now I want to say. Um, it's been out for a while now and this is by BH Cosmetics which is a really great affordable brand and if you guys don't know who Carly Bible is I'll insert a picture right here she's one of the biggest makeup youtubers she has fantastic makeup um, she just recently came out with a line of clothing from the brand misguided um, and they have like all sorts of really cute clothes that I could never wear or never pull off but they're really cute and I like looking at them and pretending like I could maybe pull them off even though I know I could not so this look is using her palette and it's also kind of inspired by her she does a lot of like really pretty shimmery looks but I've also noticed her do a lot of really cool creative looks with a dark lip and cut creases and stuff like that she really likes her you know cool tone little cute shirts and she's almost always wearing a choker so even though mine isn't like all diamond and pretty like hers is um, I decided to go for a choker anyway thank you to Anissa for letting me borrow this even though right now as I'm saying this you don't know that I'm borrowing it thank you so I've had this palette for I think three months now I got it in September and they started selling it at Ulta so um, BH Cosmetics was originally just like available online um, but now it's also available in Ulta stores so that's where I picked up this palette and my Ulta hardly has anything that it says it's supposed to have like online like they're not stocked very well so if mine had this yours would probably have it this retails for $14.50 I believe and it's just basically your standard cardboard packaging like this it has a gorgeous mirror inside woohoo hello this is my favorite thing about this entire palette is this mirror it is just absolutely amazing. You get 10 eyeshadows and 4 highlighters so that results in 14 things so basically you're paying a dollar and a few cents per shadow and highlighter so that's really cheap if you want to average out the palette. You get 5 mattes and 5 shimmers so you get a good mix of everything and then you get these 4 highlighters and you literally have everything from someone who's very fair to someone who's very deep and wants a more bronzy highlight. So you really do get everything in this palette. If I had to describe this palette I would say it's like a cool slash neutral palette. You have your cool tones like your cool tone uh, purpley color right here, this cool tone grayish brown, cool tone highlight, um, some cool tone shimmers, but then you also have some golds and bronzes. So it really is a nice palette. It's not something too warm like the Morphe 35O or something too too cool like the Urban Decay Naked 2. It's a good mix of everything. Here are all the highlighters right here. These are the four highlighters swatched. If you guys can just see how beautiful and metallic they are, they're gorgeous either wet or dry. You can use them either way and they're just so gorgeous. I'm not going to swatch all the shadows but I'll just swatch a few of my favorites. I love this brown right here. It's a gorgeous brown for the crease. Nice and neutral, not too warm, not too cool. Um, this white shadow I have all over my lid and it's probably my favorite shadow in this palette. Um, I also really love this burgundy color. It's very pigmented and not chalky, which I really do like with burgundies. As for the shimmers, I really do like this one right here. This is like kind of a rose gold, taupey sort of uh, gold shade. Let me swatch these for you guys. So here are the colors I just talked about swatched. Here's the matte white, here's the brown, here's the burgundy, and then here's that cool like gold pink iridescent color. I really do like this palette. I think it's a great buy. If you're a beginner who has a few like warm shades and you want something to kind of mix it up, something great for fall, I would really recommend this because you have your nice purpley colors in here and some darker shimmers. As for this makeup look, I filmed this once already, not this exact makeup look, but something similar um, with this palette, except the footage came out so horrible and I really hated it. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it for this look. I'm going to let you guys watch the tutorial now and I'm going to stop babbling. So yeah, I hope you guys like this and I will see you at the end of the video. Mwah. Alrighty guys, so we are going to start out by priming and I'm just priming my eyes right here and then blending it with my finger and then I already did my brows so those are all finished and then I'm going in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer just to go over it. This is how I like to set my eyes. I like to do primer and then concealer but you could do either or 
or bows if you wanted to. It's all up to your personal preference, but I wanted a nice clean base that was going to stay, so this is how I did it. Then I'm just going to be taking any translucent powder and just setting my lid and my crease. Now I'm going in with Enod eyeshadow from Carity Beauty, and I'm just taking this on a fluffy brush and blending this into my crease. Any warm sort of brown color will work. I really want to keep the colors in the crease nice and warm and then have the cut crease be cool. Now I'm going into the Carly Bible palette and I'm taking this nice mid-tone brown. It's not too cool or too warm. I'm just going to take this on this stippling eyeshadow brush from e.l.f. and start blending this really kind of deep into the crease as you can see here. I'm really keeping this inside the crease and then I'm going back out with a fluffy brush to blend everything out. This fluffy brush doesn't have anything on it, just blending. Now I'm taking this light lavenderish shade and I'm going to do the same exact thing that I did with that mid-tone brown. I'm just going to blend that into the crease. As you can see, I'm starting to kind of sweep it out as well to kind of create that sort of wing shape that I want for my cut crease. So now I'm going to mix these two shadows together, this nice dark burgundy and that dusty color we used before, and just doing the same thing that I did with the brown. I just really want to build up these colors in the crease so we have a nice gradient and a nice fade and nothing is too choppy. Now I'm going with Peach Smoothie because I felt like I wanted a little bit of a more orange crease. You know, I thought that would contrast really well with the purples. So I'm just blending that in and I am kind of building that up a little bit in the upper crease to make sure everything doesn't look too low and smoky. So now I'm going to mix these two colors together right here and I'm just taking a flat brush. You can use any flat brush that you'd like or any angled brush, whatever you like to do for your cut crease. And I'm just going to literally cut that crease. I'm going a little bit above my natural crease because I have slightly hooded eyes, but if you have a nice defined crease, you can just go directly in your crease, and I'm just starting to wing that out. I don't have a lot of product on my brush. This is very subtle because I'm going to keep building this over and over as the look goes on. So you want to start out subtle and then blend everything out, just like I'm doing here. I'm just taking that stippling brush from before and blending everything out. Then as you can see, I'm going back in with those colors and just building up. You want to build, blend, build, blend. That's how you're going to get your seamless look and how nothing's going to be choppy or patchy or just yucky looking. This is going to be your key to a really pretty cut crease. So yeah, just doing that step over and over. And as you can see, everything's starting to come together now. So I'm taking this darker color because I wanted a little less purple in the crease and a little bit more deeper tones so that's what I'm doing here I'm just taking this on the outer and going into the inner crease and same thing just cutting that crease and sweeping everything out As you can see I also like sometimes take a minute to kind of look up like that with my eyes and make sure everything is in the right spot so yeah see squinting right there just to make sure everything looks nice and it's the shape that I want because that's very important with the cut crease now I'm going back in with peach smoothie and blending a little bit more, just using this to blend everything out, make sure we have no harsh lines, and yeah, I really like how this orange ended up looking with the purples, so that's optional as well, you don't have to do this, but I liked it. So I'm going to take this really pretty shade, it's just a nice cream color, and I'm just going to use this to blend everything out near the brow bone, so there's no harsh lines and nothing is too pigmented, so I'd rather have things be a little less pigmented and then be able to build them up. Now I'm taking those same shades from before and just cutting the crease again, making it a little bit more intense this time. And I'm not going to blend it out as much because this is when you're going to start wanting your harsh line and making sure that everything is nice and cut. So now to make sure everything looks super nice, I'm going to take my same concealer from before and on that same um, brush that I just cleaned off, I'm going to really cut the crease. And the way I'm doing this is I'm taking it and I'm putting this all over the lid, kind of stretching out my eye just a little bit to make sure that line is nice and sharp so if you got any shadow on your lids do not worry so now I'm going to take that cream shade again and just pack this all over this shade is so pigmented oh my god like look at that it's so pigmented I love this shade so much favorite shade in the palette probably and I'm just going to put that on like so make sure it's nice and opaque then I'm just going to go back in with that fluffy brush and blend everything out to make sure nothing kind of got messed up there and as you can see, I'm going back in and I'm cutting the crease a little bit more. I clean the brush off again and I'm cutting again. It's just all about looking and seeing how you want it to look. Now I'm going to go in with the NYX glitter. I think this is in the shade bronze and I really love this glitter. It's so gorgeous. It's like a nice gold bronzy color. And I'm just going to take a little bit of the e.l.f. glitter glue first and place this on here. This is actually a Sephora lip brush that I'm using and I really like it. Um, so I'm just going to put that like that and then I'm going to take the glitter and use that same brush and just press it on. If you have the Lit Cosmetics glitter glue, this will look really well. You could use a liquid glitter, but I find using the e.l.f glue will work just as well. 
So now I'm going to create a nice cat eye. I really want to make sure that my wing liner goes in the same direction as my cut crease wing to make everything look nice and seamless. So I just did that and then I put some of the NYC liquid liner over it to darken it up. So now I'm just going to go back in, blend that out a little bit, and then clean up my wing. So now I'm going to apply some falsies. These are the Flirt Lashes from Kiss, I believe, and they are like my absolute favorite lashes. They're so pretty, they're so fluffy, and I just absolutely love Kiss lashes. You should definitely check them out. They sell them at Walmart. So now I'm going to be taking that same matte white shade and just putting that as a brow bone highlight to make sure everything looks nice and matte. I didn't want anything to be too shiny. So I applied my foundation, because you guys see me do it a hundred times, and then I'm just going to take that same concealer from before. This is the LA Girl Concealer in the shade Natural, and it looks very orange, but when you blend it out, it does not look like that at all. And I'm just going to use this to highlight, and then I'm going to take the NYX Concealer. I'm not sure what shade this is, but it'll be down below. And I'm just going to use that to lighten because the LA Girl Concealer is very close to my skin tone and this one is a lot brighter. So I'm just going to take my sponge and blend everything out just like so. So we're nice and seamless. As you can see, it's a really nice, pretty look. Now I'm going to do some cream contouring. This is the shade Medium Bisque, I believe, from LA Girl. It's another one of their concealers. And I'm just going to do some cream contouring. If you'd like me to do like an actual tutorial on cream contouring, I would totally love to do that. I think it's really fun, but I think you can mess it up really easily because I know I have. So yeah, I'm just doing that right here, kind of putting this all where I want my contour and then blending it out with my sponge as well. Now I'm just going to make sure there's no creases in my under eyes. I showed this trick in my last video, so go check it out if you want more explanation on it. But then I'm just going to set my under eyes with the NYC Loose Translucent Powder. I'm not baking. I am just setting. I didn't feel like baking today. I just wanted to set everything. I make it look really nice. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm getting rid of the creases, and then I'm going to be setting. And I'm going to do that on my chin and on my nose and on my forehead as well, just to give a little bit more highlight and clean up any contouring that I had there. Now I'm going to be taking that same powder and just using my sponge to press it in all over my face. Don't worry about covering up your contour because it will not cover it up. It will shine through because this powder is translucent. So do not worry, but I'm just going to use this to set so my bronzer and blush and everything will go on smoother. And speaking of bronzer, I'm going to be using, of course, the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And I'm taking this e.l.f. brush. This is like a cheek brush, I think. A blush brush or something and I'm going to use this to contour as you see here. I didn't want too much of a contour but I wanted something a little bit more structured than my normal bronzy look so this is why I decided to use this brush. I wanted everything to be a little bit more exact and that's what I'm just doing. I really like this brush. Morphe has one very similar. Makeup Geek has one. You can really find these brushes everywhere. Then I'm just going to take this Wet n Wild angle brush and just blend everything out so nothing is too harsh because we don't want a too harsh of a contour because then we look crazy. So now I'm going to take Rosé Champagne. This is from Wet n Wild. This is my all-time favorite blush, I think. And I'm going to take this e.l.f. Dipple brush and just apply this very lightly. I don't want anything too blushy, but I do want a little bit of a color. And then I'm going to take my NYX Illuminating Palette. Not NYX. E.l.f. And I'm just going to buff this all over my face. I use that nice neutral grayish shade. It ends up being like my skin tone. And I just kind of buff that everywhere to give me a nice luminosity. So now I'm taking that brown shade from the Carly Bible Palette. I'm just using a... BH Cosmetics pencil brush <laughs> and I'm going to blend this in to my um, lower lash line and then I'm taking these two shades that I used in my cut crease and just applying this very close to my lash line and then I'm going to be taking the same brush and blending everything out so we have a nice smoky but not too harsh lower lash line. So now I'm going to take these two highlighters right here and oh my god look at these they make your skin look wet they're not glittery they're not chunky they're just so beautiful they just really make you glow and make you look wet which is why I love them so much really like the highlighters in here and there's a shade for everyone. I'm going to take that pink shade it's a nice icy shade and apply that to my inner corners for a little bit of highlight and then I'm just going to spray my face and make sure everything looks good and we are done with that.
So now for lips, I'm just going to wipe off the lip balm that I had on before. Then I'm going to go in with a ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick. As you can see, I'm very excited about it because it's so beautiful. Um, I forget what the name is though. I'm sorry. It will be in the down bar. But oh my god, can you believe this color? It is so gorgeous. And ColourPop did reformulate their lippies. And I think I like them a lot better. So yeah, that's it for this video, you guys. I hope you guys like it. And I love you. Mwah! So that's it for this video, you guys. I hope you guys like it. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you thought. Um, and you guys, I think you really need this palette. I really like it. And it's so cheap. I mean, like, why not? Why not? So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah. So today's video is going to be a get ready with me. I, um, I'm going to be going out tonight. I have to give a 